Hi, I'm Scott Bland with Texas Instruments Technical Trading Organization, and I'll be presenting this Bluetooth Smart technical introduction, including a hands-on video for the new Bluetooth Smart sensor tag. Let's start with the Bluetooth ecosystem to place Bluetooth Smart, otherwise known as Bluetooth Low Energy, into the Bluetooth context. Bluetooth is an established standard driven by the Bluetooth Special Interest Group, or SIG, and is today's leading wireless technology in terms of volume shipment and installed base. Prior to Bluetooth 4.0, accessories products, which are devices connecting to phones or computers, have mostly been limited to audio headsets or human interface devices like mice and keyboards. Additionally, streaming audio applications continue to use classic Bluetooth technology for larger packet size and higher data rate applications. The comparably higher power consumption of classic Bluetooth does not allow low power applications that use coin cells or other small batteries. Low power applications are now enabled by Bluetooth Low Energy or Bluetooth Smart according to SIG naming. A broad range of solutions is being developed using this new low power technology including custom profiles. Dual mode solutions called Smart Ready ensure communication compatibility with all Bluetooth devices currently on the market. Let's take a quick look at the specs for both Classic Bluetooth and Bluetooth Smart. Both are, of course, maintained by the Bluetooth Special Interest Group, or SIG, and provide an open, multi-supplier platform that ensures interoperability. Bluetooth Smart targets use cases with infrequently transmitted and smaller data packets. The data rate an actual payload is much smaller when compared to classic Bluetooth, rendering it unsuitable for streaming larger amounts of data. Bluetooth Smart scores well on improved overall power consumption by lowering peak currents. Connection latency is quite low, and Bluetooth Smart has the ability to drop connections during longer inactive states. Bluetooth Smart also improves range due to its narrower bandwidth specification and overcomes the traditional network limitation of seven connections as found in classic Bluetooth. Bluetooth Smart was designed for very low power to enable long battery life with the smallest of batteries. This gives Bluetooth Smart a very unique physical footprint in multiple devices but with a lot of functionality. That functionality includes the ability to free devices from costly, complex input and display capabilities. It also includes letting product designers remove costly, non-dirt-proof connectors and instead upgrade the software of a product wirelessly with a smartphone. When it comes to the Internet of Things, we find that there are few gateways to the cloud as ubiquitous and mobile as smartphones and tablets. Bluetooth Smart exploits these mobile gateways to report and obtain status from the cloud. Implementation with Bluetooth Smart is much less complex compared with classic Bluetooth. Target markets for this technology are a broad set of industrial, automotive, and consumer applications. Very common use cases are activity monitors, proximity detection, or any kind of remote display and control application as shown in these market segments. In many applications, Bluetooth Smart is enhancing the user experience by enabling wireless operation and data transfer. In addition to the defined profiles from the SIG, every developer can make their own custom profiles with Bluetooth Smart. This next section introduces the new SimpleLink wireless microcontroller solution, CC2640. The CC2640 puts Smart in Bluetooth Smart. Smart is making sophisticated wireless devices easy to design using step-by-step -step documentation and low-cost tools to quickly prototype your innovative idea. Smart is multi-year operation on a coin cell battery enabled by our complete wireless microcontroller system. Smart is fitting an entire Bluetooth Smart wireless controller system on the tip of your finger, including power management, user application flash space, and an optimized RF design for small spaces. The CC2640 is a Bluetooth Smart wireless microcontroller that provides a complete solution on a single chip. It has three cores which can be separately powered and controlled. 
The application processor is an ARM Cortex-N3. It runs the Bluetooth Smart profiles along with any user-defined functionality. 20 kilobytes of RAM and up to 128 kilobytes of flash is available, although as we'll see later, the Bluetooth Low Energy Stack also runs on this processor and occupies part of this memory. An ARM Cortex-M0 runs the Bluetooth Low Energy Radio Firmware from ROM and ensures that all timing regarding the RF protocol is handled properly. The M0 is not available for user programming. The RF core is controlled by the ARM Cortex-M0 and enables up to plus 5 dBm output power and minus 97 dBm sensitivity for Bluetooth smart communication in the 2.4 GHz frequency band. The third and final core on the CC2640 is the Sensor Controller Engine, or SCE. This small RISC CPU has been designed to offload the M3. When the rest of the system is in standby mode, the SCE can run small algorithms and or communicate with sensors in a low power manner. It can wake up on interrupt and perform simple processing. For example, calculating average sensor or threshold values before waking up the M3 for further processing and transmission. The CC2640 includes a wide set of peripherals for serial communication as well as general purpose I.O. and timers. There's a separate set of peripherals for the sensor controller engine. The CC2640 enables low power consumption in a number of different ways. First, the Cortex-M3 processor consumes less than 3.3 milliamps at 48 MHz. Compared to older microcontrollers, less processing time is needed for application and stack processing. Current consumption per MIPS is among the lowest in the industry. Second, the CC2640 has a very low sleep current, around 1 microamp, with full memory retention and the real-time clock running. Third, TI has developed a brand new and unique sensor controller engine that can handle simple tasks such as reading the ADC input or digital sensors. The sensor controller engine, along with microcontroller peripherals, can run autonomously and enable sensor polling with less than 5 microamp current consumption. Last but not least, current consumption during receive and transmit is only about 6 milliamps. The TI Bluetooth Low Energy Software Solution consists of the following major parts. The foundation is TI's Real-Time Operating System, or RTOS. It provides a threaded environment with full power management. The operating system kernel resides in ROM. A set of peripheral drivers and a low-layer driver library is also provided. This provides an excellent starting point for your development. The Bluetooth Low Energy Protocol Stack is provided as a pre-qualified library component. The lower level Bluetooth low energy radio firmware and part of the controller runs out of ROM and is fully patchable. The application and profile services are written on top of the Bluetooth low energy protocol stack. They are available as source code and can be used and or modified by the developer. TI has a comprehensive list of pre-certified Bluetooth low energy profiles. A wide range of application software starting points is available. The supported integrated development environments are TI's low-cost Code Composer Studio and IAR Embedded Environment for ARM. The ARM architecture also enables other open source compilers as well, such as GCC. To save code space in Flash, the RTOS kernel and parts of the Bluetooth Low Energy Controller code reside in ROM. For convenience, over-the-air download has been enhanced to support partial update of the flash image. This means that the application code can be updated over the air independently of the stack. TI RTOS is the operating environment for Bluetooth low energy applications on CC26XX devices. The TI RTOS kernel is a tailored version of the TI Sys BIOS kernel and operates as a real-time preemptive multi-threaded operating system with tools for synchronization and scheduling. 
Each RTOS thread has an initialization function, an event processor, and likely has one or more callback functions. While threads have many benefits, they require synchronization to interact in a thread-safe manner. Preemptive multitasking, provided by the RTOS, involves the use of an interrupt mechanism which suspends the currently executing process and invokes the scheduler to determine which process should execute next. The TI RTOS scheduler is also deterministic. Deterministic schedules are networks of tasks connected to each other with dependencies that describe the work to be performed, that work's duration, and the planned completion of the project. Peripheral drivers are included with the RTOS to ensure compatibility with various power modes. A Power Policy Manager, or PPM, has been created to ensure that the system correctly maintains the power modes. How do you get started with all this hardware and software? You have two major choices depending on where you are in your development. If you want to quickly prototype how Bluetooth Smart would work in your application, then the Simple Link Sensor Tech is the best place to start. If you're ready for product development with an easier debugging environment, you can use the development kit shown on the right, which includes two LCD-enabled baseboards and two RF-optimized EM boards. The CC2650DK also comes with a Bluetooth Smart USB stick, so you can leverage our PC-based tools. TI provides a selection of powerful tools as part of the Bluetooth Low Energy software offering. B-Tool provides complete control of a connected network processor via a graphical user interface. It allows a developer to test every aspect of the Bluetooth Low Energy stack, including passkey security, advertisement data, device whitelist, service discovery, and more. The BLE Device Monitor is a Windows application that displays all services and characteristics on any connected Bluetooth Low Energy device. It can also be used to read and write to the exposed characteristics. The TI SmartRF Protocol Packet Sniffer is a powerful development assistant which displays the Bluetooth low energy packets as they are sent over the air. This live view and the generated logs can be used for effective debugging during evaluation and development. The SmartRF Flash Programmer is a tool that can be used to program the flash memory of TI's Bluetooth low energy devices and read out and change the IEEE address of the device. TI provides a number of designs utilizing Bluetooth smart solutions. They can help you quickly evaluate and customize your system. All of the designs include schematics or block diagrams, bill of materials, design files, and test reports. TI is constantly making more reference designs, so check out TI.com for the latest offerings. The new sensor tag is designed to let everyone test out their Bluetooth low energy sensor ideas in minutes. The development kit is easy to set up and use and demonstrates how easy it is to get started with Bluetooth smart accessories. The sensor tag kit includes a sensor tag with eight MEM sensors running from a coin cell battery and an app that can be used on Bluetooth smart enabled devices. The kit also includes complete smartphone app source code that can be used to make Bluetooth low energy enabled apps just as easy as making other smartphone apps. Here's an illustration of how the sensor tag can be used to demonstrate an accessory idea. You can design a smartwatch prototype in 30 minutes by using the LCD display dev pack, combining it with the built-in 9-axis motion sensor, and control everything from a smartphone app. Another example, iBeacon, is supported right out of the box. Or, an alarm system consisting of several sensor tags as door and window alarm sensors can be prototyped on the phone app or connected to a cloud service and can be demonstrated in less than an hour. At an affordable $29 price point, any customer can easily get started with Bluetooth low energy app development. Let's see a quick video to show how to get started with the sensor tag. Hi. I am Marianne Stearman and I want to show you the new sensor tag today. 
Our goal is to get you connected to the cloud in only three minutes. And I think we succeeded. Even better, it's only $29. Now I want to show you how. First, you download the app. And you pull the tab to power the sensor tag. We added 10 sensors to this device. And when you see the sensor view, you can see how quickly you actually are connected. It now reads all the sensor data. Here's a magnet, and I will just prove to you that it's actually connected. This is how quickly you get started. In addition to the magnet, we added nine more sensors ambient and object temperature, humidity, a barometer, which can also be used as altimeter, a nine axis movement sensor with accelerometer, gyroscope and magnetometer, and finally we added a light sensor. For each sensor you can update the sensor reading interval by touching it. Let's try with the movement sensor. I set it to 100 milliseconds update rate. And now you see it responds immediately. Let's do a use case. I want to create a weather station. I don't need all 10 sensors active and I want to remove the movement and light sensor that I'm not using. I press the edit and simply delete them. We can also regroup the sensors by moving them on the screen. Now I'm done and I have my weather station with temperature, humidity and air barometer. So now I showed it to you and it's very easy to use. To get your own and to get everything you need, visit ti.com slash sensor tag and get started. Good luck. We gathered some of the most frequent questions about TI Bluetooth Low Energy Solutions here. Can the CC2540-41 use coin cell batteries and how long would the battery operate? Is dual mode Bluetooth needed? Is it possible to upgrade the firmware over the air? Can I add BLE to my existing product? Do I have to pay any royalties to Apple? How long should I plan for from development startup to final certified solution? We gathered the most important initial design considerations here. What data rate will your application require? What volume do you expect on a yearly basis? Does your application need to connect to a PC? Would you need an officially adopted profile or would you make your own? What is the latency requirement? Is security important? Our wiki contains important information and we're constantly adding helpful material. Please check it out. Also, get to know our E2E community it's an impressive knowledge database with thousands of threads explaining Bluetooth smart technical questions. This knowledge database is searchable and easy to use. Thank you for your attention and good luck with your design.